The variant of COVID-19 that was first discovered in England has now been found in Dauphin County. It's the first confirmed case in Pennsylvania, and the variant is believed to spread much faster than the original strain. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner reports from Dauphin County and what health leaders say about the vaccine's effectiveness against this new strain. Well, the, the, the fact that it's showing up in Dauphin County is very scary. The COVID-19 variant is here, and experts warn it can spread quickly. I'm just worried that if we get a lot of uh, community spread quickly before the vaccine gets in arms, we're going to really tax the health care system big time. Pennsylvania Secretary of Health Dr. Rachel Levine says National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases Director Dr. Anthony Fauci has already warned that the variant that was first reported in England will likely hit all 50 states. So the fact that someone tested positive for it in Dauphin County isn't entirely unexpected. It was a travel related case. News of that COVID-19 variant arriving in Dauphin County just has people here breathing an even bigger sigh of relief. This is what they're getting today. The Moderna vaccine and one of these vials holds about 11 doses. Oh, I feel so relieved. I was looking forward to getting the shot. It is the safest thing everybody can do is get the vaccination. Yet the general public likely won't see that vaccine until spring or summer, with it only reaching health care workers and those at high risk so far, like those here at the Middletown home in Dauphin County who received their shots from Hershey Care. Many now asking, will those vaccines even work against the variant? Those tests will be, will be ongoing uh, by the vaccine manufacturers, but there's every reason to think that the vaccine will prevent this strain. From all indications so far, the vaccine is protecting against the variant. The problem with the variant is it spreads so quickly. And I know friends in the hospital system, they are overwhelmed. Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News.